History remembers the glory, but forgets the sacrifice. History remembers the stars, but forgets the auditions. History remembers those who stand in the light, but forgets those who work in the darkness. How will history remember you? Good evening. My name is Jan Willem Breurer. I'm the director and founder of the Septimius Awards. Many people ask me, Many people ask me, why did you create the Septimius Awards? And the simple reason is doubt. At times, we all have doubt. Are we good enough? Are we still good enough? Are we growing? And it's moments like these that are designed to wash away doubt, to show the world that we are still good enough, to show the world that we are still growing. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce our new trophies. When people look at this trophy, they ask me, Jan Willem, why did you choose a white guy to represent a diverse festival? <laughs> but here's the thing, he's not white. You are looking at the statue of the first black Roman emperor. <laughs> emperor Septimius Severus. But I did not choose him because he was black. I actually chose him because when the African conquered and invaded Rome, he did not burn it to the ground. Instead, he integrated with Roman society. He married a white woman and had colored kids. This ethos and way of thinking is what Septimius represents, combining cultures from all around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, you here today are the best and enjoy it. But today we're gonna find out who is the best of the best. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Septimius Awards. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to the Septimius Awards 2022. My name is Meryl. I'll be one of your hosts for tonight. At the Septimius Awards, our goal is to highlight the best films, documentaries, scripts, music videos, actors, and actresses, and to grant awards to the best in each category. Personally, I feel very honored to be part of this event, and you all should too. As I look across this room, I see so many talented people, people who spend hours, months, sometimes even years working on their projects. I believe all successful creatives follow the three P rules, passion, patience, and perseverance. As the late Walt Disney once said, we don't make movies to make money. We make money to make more movies. And as we all know, filmmaking is a miracle of collaboration. So if your name is called out, please take a moment to step onto the stage and briefly thank everybody who helped make your project a reality. And now, without further ado, the moment we've all been waiting for, we will announce the nominees and category winners. <laughs> Europe. As diverse as we may be, I think we can all agree there's lots of talent to be found in every corner of Europe, and especially as we're facing one of our biggest crises in recent history. Let's take a moment to acknowledge the power of art to unite and connect us. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to introduce the nominees for Best European Actress. Antonia Campbell Hughes, Black Medicine. Hannah Douglas, Lapwing. Paulina Galaska, Girls to Buy. Lina Gora, Call. Gracia Filipovic, Marina. Rebecca Benson, Flag. Vibeka Hastro, Spiral. Tamar von Wanning, Paradise Drifters. And the winner is. Polina Galaska. <laughs> It was acting naturally. <laughs> uh, oh my God! Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your recognition. I'm really honored. Uh, why I'm so emotional? Um, uh, and I want to thank you from here. I have uh, 46 seconds. I want to thank you to all the girls uh, who told me because you know our movie is about the fragile topic and. And it was a huge candle in Poland. I want to thank you all the girls who uh, told me their stories uh, within the research. And I wanted to tell you that it's, uh, it's an honor for me to get this award in here in Amsterdam, the city of equality, tolerance, and love. And I think this is what we can learn from you in Poland. And uh, what I want to say about our neighbors, of course, uh, Slava Ukraini. Now I know what I'm about to say next might get me in a lot of trouble, but I'm going to say it anyway. Personally, I believe size matters. And this is especially true for European men, because only the biggest stars with the biggest talent can get the biggest roles. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees for Best European Actor. Frank Lammers, Ferry. Conrad Merikoffer, Poppyfield. Martijn Lakemeijer, The East. Clifford Kuyu Henry, In Search of a White Identity. Branko Juric, Not So Friendly Neighborhood Affair. Julian Vergov, The Hunt for Salamander. Cyril Guts, Club Lockdown. Daniel Kolf, Final Memento. And our winner is Frank Lammers. Thank you very much. Um, I'm a little underdressed. I don't have a smoking, maybe next time. Uh, it's good to be here. Uh, this is the most diverse uh, audience I've ever seen, so applaud yourself. Because this is uh, what the world should look like. Um, I'd like to dedicate this award to uh, a mentor of mine who died uh, last week, and yesterday we remembered him in the theater on the other side. He came to the art school where I was, I didn't understand because everybody was talking about acting being very difficult. And he came, Gijs de Lange, and he said, acting is uh, to stand and to talk fancy. <laughs> and that I understood. Uh, he also said, uh, uh, one day they'll find out we're absolutely able for nothing. We can't do anything. Uh, they haven't found out yet. <laughs> yeah. It also says so, best European actor, so that means I'm a sports guy. I wouldn't say, but I am. Uh, I, this means I'm European champion acting, and I'm very proud of that. Uh, 
I like to work all over the world. That's my uh, biggest dream. So whenever someone from India or whatever, my telephone number is 06-555-00160. Thank you very much. I think I don't only speak for myself when I say I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with America. It's definitely a um, fascinating continent, and one that we've looked up to for a long time. If there's one thing about America that we've never stopped loving, it's American films and their talent. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to introduce the nominees for Best American Actress. Taina Müller, Good Morning Veronica. Meadow Williams, American Trader, The Trial of Axis Sally. Sarah Steele, The Good Fight. Jessica Meza, Estilo Americano. Raksha Host, I Am Mary. Celeste Fianna, The Bay. Erica Peoples, True to the Game 3. Sheila Hulaha, Night Mother. And the winner is Sarah Steele. <laughs> wow, hi. I can't believe I'm the first person to have to do this. <laughs> Um, thank you so much to the Septimius Awards. This is just incredible. This is my first time ever being in Amsterdam. Um, this is wildly unexpected, but also definitely the best um, awards show I've ever been to. It's just incredible to see people from all around the world. And, you know, we, sh we shoot this television show 20 minutes from where I live in Brooklyn. Um, so it's it's just wild to me that it reaches, you know, the far, the far corners of the world. And I have been acting since I was eight, which I probably makes me completely insane. Um, but I, I still love it. And it feels so, so nice to be recognized by this incredible event. And, uh, okay, four seconds left. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> We all know it's hard to make it in Hollywood as an actor. But did you know you have a bigger chance of winning the national lottery than becoming famous? You even have a higher chance of being struck by lightning than becoming a famous Hollywood actor. But despite all that, there are still some people out there willing to risk it all for this dangerous profession called acting. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best American Actor. Swen Temmel. American Traitor, The Trial of Axis Sun. Thomas Jane, Warning. Columbus Short, True to the Game 3. Guaya Raymond, Aviagam de Pedro. Brant Lancaster, The Black Light. Hector Noas, Mambo Man. Gabriel Nuncio, This Is Not A Comedy. Christos Andrews, Survive The Game. And the winner is Thomas Jane. I knew I was going to win, I would have learned how to tie a bow tie <laughs> this morning. 
Jesus. Also, it's heavy. It's small, but it's heavy. It's kind of, that's good. Uh, okay. Well, come on. I mean, geez, this place is gorgeous. And we, right? Thank you very much. What's really cool is to sit beside and be able to sort of talk to other artists who come from all over the world. And we get together and we celebrate this. That's pretty darn cool. So it's a pleasure to be here. The only reason that I'm here is because of a very a wonderful crew. We shot this thing in Poland, a wonderful uh, director and a wonderful producer named Sybil, Sybil Liu. And I'm messing up her last name, but Sybil, as I knew her, uh, really brought this, this film home. And it, and it just goes to show how one person can be the arrow that, that directs a project and brings it home or brings it to fruition in a way that without that person, this project would not have existed. So thanks, Sybil. And thanks, Septimius. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I am not afraid to admit an awkward truth. The West is dying. At best, we have maybe 10, 20 more years before our Western empire crumbles. But as the sun sets in the West, it rises in the East. So I am honored to introduce the nominees for Best Asian Actress. Fatima Albanawi, Route 10. Mila Al Zahani, The Fates Hotel. Karam Taher, Farah. Mahira Khan, Aik Hai Niga. Amal Mohammed, 218, Behind the Wall of Silence. Xian Dongli, Xiu Ying. Kriti Sanon, Mimi. Stephanie Atala, Tuesday 12. And the winner is Amal Mohammed. <laughs> I cannot talk. <laughs> so, first of all, Salam Alaikum. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for having us today. I'm so excited for this amazing award. So, I'm speechless. <laughs> the only things that I can say, thank you, Shams. Uh, thanks for my director, Nahla Al Fahad. And thanks for my parents. I'm today here because of my parents. Shukran, Mama, Baba. This is for my parents. <laughs> Thank you. When most people think about Asian actors, they think about Jackie Chan, Jet Li, that crazy Asian from The Hangover. So let's change this tonight. Tonight, our ignorance ends. Here are the nominees for Best Asian Actor. Manav, Devika. Babak Karimi, Careless Crime. Hamid Farok Nayat, Major. Seo Bin Bak, Sermon on the Mount. Ahmed Al Munirawi, Sharaf. Kunkako Boban, Ayatu, The Hunt. Vince Brillen, Sisi. Alu Ayun, Pushpa, The Rise.
And the winner is Seo Bin Bak. I'm at a loss. <laughs> I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. Uh, it's such an honor uh, for me to be recognized on the other side of planet here in Amsterdam. I'd like to express my gratitude to the director for her confidence in giving me this role and the opportunity to join the journey toward the greater harmony. And Growing up in a family of actors, there has always been uh, intense pressure for me to produce excellent acting so as not to compromise my family's reputation. But with this award, uh, this you know, huge long-lasting uh, burden has been lifted off my shoulders. <laughs> so thank you so much. And, yeah, so um, uh, it is my commitment to this film festival and to the audience to continue to produce great acting and great projects with my whole heart. Thank you so much. Africa has an amazingly vibrant film industry. Just think of things like Nollywood, ETV, Mnet, so it's no surprise that all the actors in this category are of amazing star quality. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to introduce the nominees for Best African Actress. Natasha Tahane, Keddie Bone. Ijoma Grace Agu, Swallow. Kobile Kumalo, Uncovered. Dina El Sherbini, The Visit. Noxolo Lamini, Silverton Siege. Laila Elui, Welcome Home. Asma Galal, Half Crazies. Ozas Igodaro, Rattlesnake, The Ahana Story. And the winner is, and please forgive me, Nkubili Kumalo. this so here we go um, thank you so much to the Septimius Awards Jan your entire team what you've created is exquisite um, so thank you for honoring us in this way um, I'd like to thank my director on this film Uzuko Notata for trusting me with this role and for being the most gracious director I've ever worked with um, in my career, I'd like to thank the first black cinematographer I ever worked with. I've been working 10 years and it took a very long time to work with uh, a black DOP. So I was very proud when that happened. Uh, his, name, his name is Muteo. Muteo, thank you very much for everything that you did. Um, congratulations to the nominees in this category. I'd like to give a shout out to my fellow South African, Natasha, who was also nominated. This award is dedicated to the women of South Africa who are endangered in South Africa and um, my mother and my baby sisters. Thank you so much. Now, of course, all these incredible women need some equally incredible male counterparts to match their talent. And boy, did we see some stunning performances in this category. Therefore, the nominees for Best African Actor are... Tabo Rametsi, Amandla. 
Stan Muse. Rattlesnake, the Ahana Stork. Wright Gubeni, Kettybone. Arnold Voslo, Silverton Siege. Cisanda Henna, One Night Qua Solisi. Brian Okoye, My Name is AZ. Motuzi Magano, I Am All Girls. Michael Uchekbu, The Anomalous. And the winner is Stan Z. This is such an honor. I mean, flying, I don't know how many kilometers now, how many, how many miles, all the way from Africa to the city of um, Netherlands, uh, Amsterdam. <laughs> I, I really want to say thank you to Jesus, uh, my Father in heaven, for giving me this great opportunity and um, great platform. Um, and to the makers of this movie, Charles Sokmaleke, the Play Network team, my director, Ramsey Noah, the best director in Africa, Chris Ode, Judith Awudu, the team, the RS2 Billy team, Play Network team, to my lovely wife who is here with me. <laughs> Baby, I love you so much. Um, to my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Um, Sebastian and Zediegu for giving me an opportunity to share my gifts with the world. To Amaki Gwe of blessed memory, she created this iconic character, Ahan Okolo, which I'm winning this award for today. And to Nigeria and Africa, this is for Africa. Um, to greater works ahead, to great entertainment and you know works that will showcase us to the world. God bless you, good night. I truly wish Oceania wasn't so far away. For all of those who made it here from all the way across the globe today, congratulations and thank you. We're so pleased to have you. In honor of all this amazing talent from across the world, here are the nominees for Best Oceanian Actress. Yana Pandelis, Unsound. Madeline Valentinis, No Witnesses. Kate O'Connor. Apparitions. Jenna Chanel Hayes, Aconi. Angelina Curtis, Terraphead. Pamela Sadu, Space Invader. Jessica Robinson, Rage. Heather Mitchell, Homespun. And our winner is Kate O'Connor. Um, uh, I didn't expect this, so I didn't um, prepare anything. Um, but I guess I would just, of course, like to say a huge thank you to the entire cast and crew of Apparitions, um, and of course to my mom, who wrote and uh, also acted in the film. Um, nepotism, what's up? <laughs> um, uh, and also to Paul Anthony Nelson, um, who also co-wrote and directed the film as well. Um, 
happens to be my stepdad. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I don't know, I, I don't think I have anything else to say because my mind is an absolute blank. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you so much for inviting me here today and for nominating me for this award. Um, and also a huge thank you to my beautiful dates tonight, Imogen Rolf, and of course, my one true love, <laughs> Meg K. Adams. Um, have a great night, everybody. <laughs>
Hello. I'm Sander. Hello, I'm, I'm Yunus, I'm Mr. Security. Uh, Yunus is one of the actors of the East, a uh, film you should watch, also on Amazon Prime. I think uh, not in every country yet, but uh, exactly a year ago we had a premiere to this date, an illegal premiere down in the corona time, COVID. But uh, it was also seven years in the making. I don't know why we're repeating these things. <laughs> no, it is an important story. I'm very proud that uh, we've made it. And uh, thanks to Yunus and the amazing cast, and of course an amazing director, Jim Taihutu, who's unfortunately not here. I want to thank Septimus for this great honor to be here and to get this award. And uh, thank you very much. See you soon. I've seen some of the films in this next category, and I have just one thing to say. Wow, so good. Intriguing storylines that grabbed you by the throat and didn't let go until the credits started rolling. So I am excited to present the nominees for Best American Film. Edge of the World, Michael Hausman. Aviagam de Pedro, Aiz Bodansky. American Trader. The Trial of Axis Sally, Michael Polish. The Lost End, Alexander Salabashku. The Black Light, Make Snow. Mambo Man, Mo Fini and Edizio Alejandro. The Corruption of Divine Providence, Jeremy Torrey. True to the Game 3, David Wolfgang. And the winner is Aviagam de Pedro. Bodansky from Brazil, Sao Paulo, South America. And it's an honor to be here, to be part of this party of diversity of our audiovisual in the world. And uh, uh, it's really, uh, for me, uh, uh, realize that not only we have the diversity on the screen, but here uh, in this beautiful audience. It's really uh, uh, emotional for me to realize that we have diversity in the world on the screen and here in this theater. I have to, uh, to say that this film, uh, uh, it was an invitation of uh, the actor Kawan Raymond who plays the main character of this film. I have to to thank so much him and my producers, Bionica Filmes, Buriti Filmes, O Som e a Fúria, Globo Filmes. This is a co-production Brazil and Portugal. And uh, I hope you can see it. And uh, for us in Brazil, we have an important industry and we have to tell everybody. And this award, this Septimus Award, put a spotlight in our industry, and it's so important for us who work a lot behind the cameras. Thank you so much, and thanks my cast, because I made this, that film with them. Thank you so much. Like I said before, Asians are slowly taking over the world. So it might not come as a surprise to you when I say that most multi-million dollar projects were submitted in this category. Now let me show you what a million dollars actually looks like. Here are the nominees for Best Asian Film. Farah, Darren J. Salam. 218, Behind the Wall of Silence. Nala Al-Fahad, Careless Crime. 
Sharam Mokri. Sermon on the Mount, Yang Wei Yu. Paka, River of Blood, Nithin Lukose. Nayatu, The Hunt, Martin Parkat. Aik Hainiga, Adnan Sarwar. Genzan Punch, Rilante Mendoza. And the winner is Aikai Nigar. Thank you so much, Septimius Awards. And this is, this is very special for us. Uh, when I say us, it's me and my co-producer, Myra Khan, who was also the main actress for the film. Uh, we made this with a lot of love and passion. And uh, this is very emotional for us, um, for me also. Uh, because this is actually a true story about Pakistan's first female lieutenant general. Uh, she's still serving. and. Uh, I would really like all of you to actually see that. And uh, it's, it's uh, with a lot of, uh, of course, hard work, love, and passion, this project was made. Uh, I would definitely like to thank my writer, who was the backbone of the project, Umaira Ahmed, my director, Nan Server, and my wonderful team. And of course, a very personal thank you to my children of Faf and Salar, who tolerated me throughout the filming of this. I was quite a... Well, I don't want to say that. I was quite a grouch throughout. You know how producers get all stressful and all. But um, yeah, I'm sure a lot, of people, a lot of you know that. But anyways, thank you so much. I am so humbled and honored and very emotional. Thank you so much, Septimius. Thank you all. I feel like African films are hugely underrated. Ask a random person on the street to name one African movie and they'll probably guess The Lion King. <laughs> well, believe me when I say, the films in this category deserve at least the same amount of fame. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to introduce the nominees for Best African Film. Silverton Siege, Mandla Walter Dubey. Amandla. Nerina Riyar. Uncovered, Zuko Nodada. Kedibo, Thomas Gumedi. I Am All Girls, Donovan Marsh. One Night Qua Solisi, Sisanda Hena. Sharaf, Samia Nasser. Our Lady of the Nile. Atik Rahim. And the winner is Kettibone. Oh, wow. Well, we're not expecting it. We're up there. Sorry about that, guys. I would say this goes out to all the African, young black African filmmakers who wants to make a movie, who wants to be inspired, who wants to make a change, and who wants to tell their stories. Thank you very much to Septimus Awards for giving us this opportunity to express our ideas. We're in the business of making films. We're in the business of telling stories. And then this is just the beginning. Thank you very much. <laughs> Today, we live in a world of green screens and special effects. But I think true beauty can never be replaced by the digital. Take Oceania, for example. I think Oceania is the most beautiful continent to film in. Look at films like Lord of the Rings and King Kong, 
both filmed in New Zealand, you can never replace those beautiful sunsets and mountains by a screen. Therefore, I'm happy to present the nominees for Best Oceanian Film. I am woman, Anju Moon. No witnesses, Robert Roworth. Apparitions, Harry Cummings Paul and Anthony Nelson. Akoni, Jenna Chanel Hayes. The Flood, Victoria Warfin McIntyre. Ascendant, Rising Wolf. Untamed Furlong. Jerubhead, Sarah Lake. Unsound, Ian Watson. And the winner is I Am Woman. I'm Anju Moon, and I'm the director of the film I Am Woman. Um, Helen Reddy would have been so thrilled, um, she passed away just after we released the movie, that a film about her life has won an award in Amsterdam because she just loved performing here, and she even had a tulip named after her. I'm so proud that I got to tell her story um, so that her fans around the world could fall in love with her all over again, and that a whole new generation would learn about her life and her music. I really hope audiences here in this country will get a chance to watch it too. I really want to thank um, all the incredible creatives and the country and of Australia, where I made the film and where I grew up. Um, even though the film is actually set in America, we, we shot it and recreated the whole thing in Australia. And the support of the screen bodies there, especially Screen Australia, is so fundamental to getting stories like this made. But finally, I really want to dedicate this award to the late and great Helen Reddy, who paved the way for so many women artists. And she has taught me so much, um, and especially in the words of her iconic song, she's taught me every day to wake up and to say, I am strong, I am invincible, I am woman. Thank you. While some fiction films tend to indulge in the fantasies of their creators, Documentaries are bound by real life. These movies are made to mark the injustices and real life moments of our world. And whereas some fiction films have the luxury of being shot in a cozy studio set, documentarians sometimes risk their lives for their films. It is an honor for me to introduce the nominees for Best Short Documentary. Rigged, Jim Wolfston. The Flight of the Butterfly. Lorenzo Montanari. The Campaign, Tuca Timonen. And Outside Life Goes On, Daniel Mora. When All That's Left Is Love, Eric Gordon. The Bronze Man of Cameroon, Florence Aisi. The Beyond, Daniel Mora. The Magnificence of You, Joel van der Molen. And the winner is Rigged. Thank you to everyone here. 
I really enjoyed the panel presentation yesterday. There were so many wonderful insights. And one of those insights was that we make these films because we have something to say. We have a story to tell. We have a message to deliver. But the most important part of that equation is that it be heard. And the fact that I hold this trophy isn't as important as the fact that this organization has heard our message. That's very important because this will help accelerate the message that we need to deliver through our film. Our film is called Rig because people might think, well, you haven't seen it. It's got something to do with that one man crime wave called Donald Trump. No. <laughs> It doesn't have anything to do with that. It has to do with the fact that our higher education system values wealth and says that the most prestigious institutions are because they have the biggest endowments. They have the greatest level of donors. They have the most students from wealthy backgrounds. But yet the next Einstein could come from any part of this world, no matter what his or her background happens to be. That's a message that I need to deliver, and Septimius has heard it. And I thank you, because this is your trophy. Documentary filmmakers have to constantly improvise and adapt to their environment. But at the same time, they need to have a very precise idea of the kind of story they want to tell. This delicate balance is what personally excites me most. I'm proud to introduce the nominees for Best Feature Documentary. Three Moons of Biondo, Jan Cleave and Lucy McIntosh. Making an Exoneree, Rob Dorfman and Cindy Dorfman. Introducing Brian Broom, Chris Ivey. Ranger, Sean James Spencer. From Fat Lolly to Six Pack Lolly, Keith Echoes. Make Europe Great Again, Ike Novigo. Shakespeare, The Truth Behind the Name, Robin Phillips. Wild Isles, Jon Cleave. And the winner is Making an Exoneree. just so excited to be here. Thank you so much for the nomination and to be a part of this amazing group of filmmakers. We, we just are so speechless. Um, this film has been very dear to our heart. The American criminal justice system is in desperate need of uh, a change. And this film, we are hoping so much is going to make that change that people need to be tried justly for their crimes. And when they're not, People go to jail for no reason. Yes, and I just want to thank uh, Georgetown University and the Georgetown University students who got someone out of prison after 27 years in six months. Wow. They, weren't, they weren't law students either. They were undergraduates. Undergraduate students that are amazing. It just tells you what you can do with some passion. And thank you so much to Valentino Dixon for letting us tell you your story. And Mark Howard, the and teacher of the Marty course, Tankliff. and Marty Tankliff, who is a wrongful convicted person as well, who after 18 years got out and started this class at Georgetown to get other people out. So thank you, Septimius. Let's make some change. Thank you. Sorry, um, it's just my dog died today, um, is what I would say if it were true. <laughs> the ability to manipulate your emotions in a very short amount of time and a way better way than I can do is the art of the short film. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the nominees for Best Short Drama. The pamphlet, Justin Hale. Umama, 
Natalia Smith. Estilo Americano, Miriam Kreuzho. Child, Indigo, Trey Hill. Blunt, Isoni Mustafa. I am Mary, Sheila Nordley. The Gossip, Van Lancaster. Daisy Desire, Lea Sassi. And the winner is Estilo Americano. I am not Miriam, but I am one of the leads in Estilo Americano. So I'm happy to accept this on her behalf. Thank you guys so much for honoring us. Thank you, Septimius, for this amazing award show that is so reflective on diversity and our message. Um, Estilo Americano is very close to my heart. It tells the story of a family of Mexicanos sitting down at Thanksgiving and the politics that have affected everybody in our family. And so I'm honored to have this award and the cast and production team on this film had poured all of their hearts. Everyone on this film is extremely talented and I'm just so proud to be a part of something with so many talented people, especially everybody behind the scenes that made this possible. So thank you very much everyone and Si se puede. In the past, Hollywood used to look down on series. Film was king and everything else was bad. In fact, it was so bad that if your career began in series, certain agents wouldn't even consider you for a film. But boy, how times have changed. Now most major film studios invest both in series and films, on TV and online. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to introduce the nominees for Best Series. The Good Fight. Michelle King, Robert King, and Phil Eldon Robinson. Flack. Oliver Lansley. The Usual. Shelby Hilton and Corey Frederick. The Hunt for Salamander. Dimitar Dimitrov, Lottie House, Young Man Kang, Sad As Blackfolk, Joel Boyd, Ann Patterson, Ann Cryer, and P. Williamson, The Babe, Gregory J. Martin, The Anomalous, Chinedu Omori. And our winner is Flack. Um, thank you very much to the uh, Septimius Awards. This is very lovely, lovely. Um, to be in Amsterdam. Um, getting anything made, I think, is a huge achievement and incredibly hard. So everyone in this room uh, deserves an award just for, for getting to that stage, I think. Um, I need to say thank you very much to uh, Mark Talbot, who was my producer all the way through uh, another labor of love. It took five years to get this show made, finally. Uh, and Mark was with me the whole way. Thank you to UK TV, to um, Pop TV, to Hattrick, to Amazon Prime, to every single person who worked on the show, Rebecca, who's over there, um, and to my lovely girlfriend, Krista, and mum and dad, thanks. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> Animations will always have a special place in my heart. I used to love watching cartoons as a kid, and to be honest, I still do. Who doesn't? 
There is something about animation that you just can't recreate in real life. Animations allow us to, for a brief moment, step out of our real world and let our imagination run completely free. I'm excited to introduce the nominees for Best Animation. My father, Mujib. Sohel Mohammed Rana. Meet my family, Esma. Are you okay? Ryan Cannell. Master Ji Gong, Kiao Yu. Wolf Walkers, Ross Stewart. The Hunter, Creative Seeds. Yaya Ileni, The Walking Liberty. Alessandro Rack. Shi King's Tantian, Dang Hai Kang. And the winner is Wolfwalkers. good friend Tom Moore and myself uh, wrote and directed Wolf Walkers, so just imagine he's here beside me. He's about that tall. Um, we'd like to thank, of course, the jury at Septimius for awarding us this. Um, huge respect to the other nominees, some of whom I've met are out there uh, and know the struggle of making an animated feature or short film. Uh, basically, you don't get into animation if you're in a hurry to make a film. It takes ages. So, um, yeah, thank you to, to the hundreds of people. I mean, I've only got 25 seconds left, so I can't get through all their names, but there's hundreds and hundreds of people that have helped make uh, Wolf Walkers. Um, Cartoon Saloon, Studio 352, Melusine, and Falavari. That's, that's who I have to get in. And, uh, of course, to my wonderful girlfriend over there, Asha, who is five months pregnant, and hopefully... <laughs> uh, She's, she's gone through like a harder time than I am up here, I tell you that much. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good evening. Personally, I think there are two places where it's okay to be a little weird. The circus and the film industry. There's a thin line between creativity and weirdness. In a strange way, you almost have to be a little weird to be creative. The following films are all weird in the best kind of way. So please give it up for the nominees in our last category before the break. Best Experimental. Augustus, John Alston. The Journey, Kobun Shizuno. Fudwena Dahi, Jim Sutu. The Come Up, E.J. Black Gray. Ilulu, Gabriel Alfonso Verdugo Soto, Columbus, Freddie Paul, No Festival, Doreen Marco, Unwoven Threads of Kashi, Abhishek Singh. And the winner is The Journey. Whoa, okay, thank you everyone. Uh, on behalf of my uh, colleague at Manga Productions and our uh, CEO who could not attend, uh, I'm grateful uh, to the Septimius Award Committee uh, for their recognition. Uh, we, we, we began the production of this movie uh, uh, with the ambition to learn and overcome uh, challenges. We represent the Saudi uh, youth eager to tell their stories um, and strive to deliver the best. And with the, with the uh, encouragement and enablement of our leaders, um, we will continue our journey uh, to collaborate with the world and uh, inspire heroes of tomorrow. Thank you so much.
I don't think directors get enough respect. They're usually the first ones on set and the last ones to leave. They are responsible for the success and the failure of any movie. So without a talented director, your film is doomed. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to introduce the nominees for Best Director. Marionette, Albert von Steen. Farewell Beijing, Zixi Kiao. Salar Girls, Zhang Haitayo. The Tenants, Mu Ren. Fishwater Affection, Zhao Chong. The Pursuit of Life, Sheng Shion. Diva Ode, Sonderberg. Edge of the World, Michael Hausman. And the winner is Michael Hausman. Makes a, it's a pretty subjective point of view. What makes, makes uh, me win this as opposed to every other director sitting in this room? I guess my story was one of, uh, it was difficult, physically difficult to do what I did. It took us two years to make this film. We were deep in the Borneo jungle. Um, and that was quite intense because it's hard enough to survive in the jungle, let alone make a period piece where suddenly monsoons hit the highlands and wash away a set you built for two months. Um, but we set out to make like a personal, real gritty, true story about the guy who inspired the man who would be king, Heart of Darkness, and Lord Jim, and that was James Brooke. And in the end, we ended up with a dirty, sweaty, slightly insane period piece, and we all went insane. And that's true. It's like Coppola said when he did Apocalypse Now, they had too much money and too much time. We had no money and no time, so we went insane very fast. And this really goes to, I think, all the director's wives who put up with this Shit. And um, my wife, who put up with all the insanity, and every other wife of every other director, and every other partner of every other director, and every director in this room, this goes to all of you. What's that? Amazing. I mean, right on. Every other director, every other person. Thank you all very much. Um, September, and I'm done. <laughs> How many people here know the actor Leonardo DiCaprio? Do you remember the films Inception or Wolf of Wall Street? Ever wondered who financed those films? Exactly. <laughs> Not me either, I wish. <laughs> but let me tell you, Hollywood had no interest in funding Inception, so DiCaprio put up his own money. Hollywood also had no interest in funding Wolf of Wall Street, so they had to get funding overseas. Two of the best films ever, were made by producers willing to take a risk. So in honor of all the real producers out there, here are the nominees for Best Producer. Major, Hamid Farokhnizad. The Other Me, Giga Aglatze and David Lynch. The East, Yelani Isaacs and Sandra Vadonk. The City, Dennis Wichmann and Marijn Wichmann. Final Memento, Vincent Berkleif and Ray Blinker. Anatomy of Time, Mai Maxalon and Anouk Sluizer. Welcome to Sieghelkirchen, Josef Eichholzer and Ernst Geyer. To the Ordeling, Joram Willink and Piet Harmsterk. And the winner is The Other Me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really honored to take this uh, award on behalf of Giga and David. Obviously, I'm neither Giga nor uh, David. 
though my name is also David. I'm one of the co-producers, but uh, understandably, I'm not uh, included in the list. But I have honor to take the award. Uh, frankly speaking, everybody knows David Lynch, and of course, he is a great man and great producer, great director. Giga is a Georgian director, screenwriter, producer. So if I will continue, I will end up with saying that he is also a brilliant artist, uh, singer, and so on. Uh, but instead, I would say that he is Georgian. I'm also from Georgia, and 25% of my country is occupied by Russia. Surprisingly, you know already that also 25% of Ukraine is occupied by Russia. So this award I would like to take on behalf of all Ukrainians who fight for future of Europe. A film is nowhere without a good director of photography. Your message can be garbage, your script can be boring, your characters can be stupid, but if the shots look good, I'm still going to want to look at it. So, in honor of all the great directors of photography, here are the nominees for Best Cinematographer. The Pamphlet, Peter Verberg. The Yurt, Jose Armengo. The Soul Within. Andrea Giacomini. Good Morning Veronica. Rodrigo Monte and Flavio Zangrandi. Lapwing. Stuart McGregor. The East. Lenas Fustegen. Club Lockdown. Aziz Al Dilaini. The Hunt for Salamander. Boris Slavkov. And the winner is, Good Morning Veronica. Hi everyone, I'm Odd Not, Flavio Zangrange. <laughs> but he's a big friend of mine, he's very talented. I'm sorry, I couldn't stand the high heels anymore, so I changed my shoes. But uh, <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun here. Very happy to be here and share this moment with you. Good morning, Veronica. Uh, wouldn't be, what is it for Brazil without Fla Flavinho, he's so talented. Veronica, I, I, say, I always say to him that he's a Veronico, he's, he helped me so much with this character, I play Veronica, and uh, Good Morning Veronica, it's a, a, a series on Netflix, so if you, I'm inviting you if you want to see it, and it uh, talks about um, violence against women, and it's something that we really should talk more and more and more about it to stop it. Thank you so much. Screenwriters are the hidden force behind every movie. And yet, how often do we watch a film and go, wow, I love the script? Actors, on the other hand, are very good at expressing they love the script, but maybe that's just because they don't want to die in the next episode. <clears throat> Game of Thrones. <laughs> anyway, the nominees for Best Screenwriter are... De Veroordeling, Bert Bauma and Sander Burger. Venserpolder, Asha Medina. Major, Ezan Abdipur. Good Morning Veronica, Rodrigo Monte and Flavio Zangrandi. The Other Me, Giga Aglatze. Tuesday 12, Majdi Smiri. Rage, Natala Huaki Wiesdinski. The Pursuit of Life, Shank Serian.
And the winner is Tuesday 12. Hi. Uh, what a film, Tuesday 12. My role in the film, I'm the actress, by the way. Um, my name is Amal, which is hope in Arabic. Um, I'm accepting this on behalf of Majdi Smeiri, our uh, screenwriter and our director. Amal, uh, hope is really what we need right now in my country, Lebanon, in many more countries. I really, I really hope for more hope. Um, thank you for this, thank you for this honor. Let's keep doing what we do best, which is art, and let's spread more love. Thank you. I would love to thank my parents. Because <laughs> I want to go home tonight. <laughs> I would love to thank my parents, my brother, and my boyfriend, who are always there for me, whether I win or lose. I love you. Titanic, Mission Impossible, Pirates of the Caribbean, Star Wars, and Jaws. What do all these great films have in common? Anyone? An amazing soundtrack, well done. Music is at the heart of any film, and without it, most films would feel very empty. So please give it up for the nominees for Best Soundtrack. Hell on the Border, Sid de la Cruz. Flack, Alexander Wolf. The Lost End, Alexander Salabascu and Marie Weil. The Journey Home, live from the Kennedy Center, John Brancy and Peter Dubin. True to the Game 3, Imani Mani Hali. The Hunt for Salamander, Maxime Eshkenazi. Gang of Rockers, Min Wai. East, Gino Tehutu. And the winner is The Hunt for Salamander. Fighting us. We might need some more of the plastic chips now. <laughs> um, first of all, I want to say that I'm not the composer, I'm the director of the TV series. And I want to thank uh, to the jury for uh, this decision and for inviting us, the hosts here. It is a great pleasure. Maxim is a great composer. We did a great job, and I'm really happy that you. The jury loved it. Thank you to all and have a good evening. Thank you. Bye. I love music videos. Do you want to know my favorite music video? It's Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. I don't know if there are any children present, but I won't go into detail explaining why it's called Anaconda. Instead, I'll just announce the nominees for Best Music Video. Boss, Siphon Balde, Meti Mend. QR Code, Schizo, Lubomir Arsov. Where Are You Now? Lost Frequencies featuring Callum Scott, Red De Vos, Amsterdam, Fleming, Gus Lebing, Naomi, Naomi John, Dilnas and Jules, Love Time. Mario Lanza, Ben Lancaster, Concentra, Pokey and Earsize, Azad Wastara, The Avant Gardener, Lindsay Cat, Heather Matarazzo, Jeremiah Kipp, and Carl Bird. And the winner is Where Are You Now? Oh, 
Oh, thank you so much. Um, thank you for the award. Uh, this is actually my second award in music. My first one was a Guilty Pleasure Award, and I'm not quite sure how to take that. Um, I'm accepting this on behalf of myself and Felix Delay, Lost Frequencies. Uh, so a massive thank you for uh, allowing me to be on this project with you, Felix. Um, I know he'd be thrilled to know we win, um, but as he's not here, it will be me taking this home. Um, I want to say a massive thank you to Brett DeVos, who was the director on this, um, to the creative team and the cast and crew in the UK and here in the Netherlands, um, and to the dancers who I think perfectly represent diversity, which we're all celebrating magnificently here tonight in Amsterdam. So thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Social justice warriors, flame wars, demonetization and reaction videos. These are all terms used in the modern online YouTube community. And if you don't know what they mean, then I have bad news for you, because that means you're officially old. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the past, it's time to step into the present and listen to the nominees for Best Content Creator. Naomi John. Naomi John. Stephen He. Stephen He. Lizix, Sabine Matthew, Sydney Black, Sydney Black, Sin, Park Su Hie, Cold Fusion, Dagogo All Trade, Impangna, Ahavu Usanase Janet, Club Lockdown, Ashar Medina. And the winner is Stephen He. Thank you, Septimius, for bringing us all together and hosting this amazing event. Thank you to my family, my mom, dad, Greta, my uh, uh, Auntie Anna, <laughs> Ilsa Shop, who suggested I make the very first video. Thank you to my team, Michael and Jade. You guys are the single best at what you do. And uh, most importantly, thank you to the community. Every single person who saw emotional damage and then stayed and become a part of the channel all unimaginable 10 million of you. You give me the opportunity to create content professionally, and I appreciate you more than you know. Thank you so much. When it comes to films, most people tend to focus on the stars. But what they don't realize is what it takes to make a star shine. Where would Cinderella be without her iconic silver dress? Or Belle from Beauty and the Beast in her yellow bowl gown? What about Neo from The Matrix and his leather suit? Stars are never able to shine without incredible costumes. So please give it up for the nominees of Best Costume Design. The East, Retno Rati Damayanti and Catherine Marchand. The Pamphlet, Gabi Bapper. Naomi, Naomi John. The Avant Gardener, Lindsay Catt. Columbus, Colleen Morris Glenn. Shibil, Pippa Nikolova. Augustus, Amanda Powell. Club Lockdown, Yitzkin No. And the winner is Naomi John. I, I, I know I don't want to be that person, but I really did not expect this. I don't even know what to say. Um, I started my music career last year 
and I do like all my own styling like for everything. So this means a lot to me because styling, costume, makeup, I mean, I know I look like I don't wear a lot of makeup, just a little bit of chapstick maybe. Um, <laughs> it's, just, it's just my passion for fashion, so this really, really means a lot to me. And maybe you don't know me, um, I do YouTube, I'm a social media creator, so um, follow me on Instagram, at Naomi John. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> In politics, there's a famous saying, behind every powerful man is a powerful woman. In film, we have a similar saying, behind every beautiful celebrity, there's an incredible hair and makeup team. Also behind me tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the nominees of Best Hair and Makeup. Sin, Park Soo Hye. Sydney Black, Sydney Black. Naomi, Naomi John. Shibil, Pistra Kechidzieva and Rositsa Gerasimova. Columbus, Denise Farrell. The Lost End, Nicole Asher. Augustus, Donna Krotz Moore. The Pamphlet, Bendin Milder and Puka de Witt. The winner is, and I hope I say this right, Shin. I'm a Korean YouTuber. Well, Korea is a small country, but has highest internet speed in this world. <laughs> and well, it's been almost 10 years since I started my YouTube channel as a beauty creator and uh, transformation makeup. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Renske van Oosterhout, and yes, I have a voice. <laughs> and tonight, I want to introduce a very special category, the Lifetime Achievement Awards. These awards are granted to people who made a significant difference in film and television, who challenged the status quo, opened doors, and surpassed expectations. The first man almost needs no introduction. He is an Oscar and Academy Award winning film director and screenwriter, a professor, an advocate for equality. His content is not just entertaining, but also heartwarming, and you have all seen his work, I think. He co-wrote Spike Lee's The Black Clansman, Spike Lee's Tarek, and Spike Lee's The Five Bloods. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to award the first Lifetime Achievement Award to Professor Kevin Wilmot. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I want to, uh, I want to shout out Jan Willem. Is that brother bad or what? That's a bad brother. That's a bad, bad brother. That's a bad, bad. There he is right there. Give it up for my man right there. Give it up for my man. There you go. You know, movies is something that we all love. You know, growing up, we watched these movies. They had an impact on us. They taught us how to love. They taught us justice. They taught us racism was bad. They taught us sexism was bad. They taught us to love equality. They taught us the things that we all need to know in life. And this award and what this whole event and night is about is trying to make that all a reality. Thank you very much.
If you like movies, and well, I think you all do, there is a 99% chance you have seen her work. Sandra Bullock's Gravity, Lara Croft's Hunt Raider, Hitman Agent 47, Beauty and the Beast, Black Mirror, Cats, Bohemian Rhapsody. And while most people try to be in the light, this lady works in the shadows, endlessly perfecting and sculpting sound, audio and dialogue. Working tirelessly in the sound department, this lady is responsible for making films sound good. So good, in fact, that she won a BAFTA and an Oscar. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to award the next Lifetime Achievement Award to Nina Hartstone. <laughs> Wow, thank you. Thank you so much, Septimius Awards, for inviting me here and for honouring me with this. Um, but it's not really me, it's my whole family, my whole world, my crew, everyone I work with and I have worked with over this entire lifetime. And it's also to all these fantastic artists who you've brought together here, which is just amazing and so wonderful to meet you all. Um, Thank yous. I need to do a big thank you to Louise, who has come with me today, who is my rock. <laughs> thank you, Louise. Um, and to Jens and to John and Alam and the people that I work with. Obviously, to my family, to my mum and dad, who I love so very much, and my husband, Kevin, my darling husband, and my three babies, Noah, Lola, and Eli. And I'm sorry, I have to say all their names. <laughs> Um, I've left them and they don't like mummy leaving so I have to uh, uh, acknowledge them while I'm here. Thank you so, so much for this award. It's very, very much appreciated. Thank you. Hair reveals our culture and hair reveals our status, hair reveals our identity. A wise man once said, show me your face and I can tell your past, but show me your hair and I can tell your future. And when it comes to film, hair is just as important. The following lady is responsible for the hairstyling in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, Prince of Persia, The Sense of Time, Rocketman, Taboo, Hugo, The Duchess, Tyrant, Gosford Park, Sense and Sensibility, and the French classic La Vie en Rose. Her talents has not gone unnoticed, even earning her an Oscar. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to award the following Lifetime Achievement Award to Jen Archibald. <laughs> Thank you so much for this award. It's a big surprise and a big honor. I'm truly grateful for it. And I have to thank an awful lot of people whom I don't have time to name, but I want to thank different teams of, that I've worked with over the years who've helped me so much collaborating and helped me to create my small contribution to these great films. Thank you. <laughs> The following person can be described in three words, hard work and dedication. He is known as the Tyler Perry of Europe, a media mago. But he is most known for giving a voice to the disenfranchised and minorities through his various platforms. Known for his work in clubs, stand-up, films, television and film festivals. And he made history by creating the first film festival for people of color in the Netherlands. The Bounce Urban Film Festival, or also the BAF, is not only known in the Netherlands, but it has worldwide recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to award this next Lifetime Achievement Award to Regilo Wijngaarden. <laughs> Wow. 
Septimius, thank you for this award. I'll put this a little bit higher. <laughs> no, it's really an honor for our work, and um, it's like an acknowledgement for our work. Uh, we started to create a platform for film, especially to focus a spotlight on diversity in film, because it's still a topic. And, um, and thanks to this initiative, you know, we can share this, uh, these stories with each other and create and celebrate diversity. So thank you very much. And uh, I also have to thank my sister. She's my partner in crime. Here it is. And a special shout out to Jan Willem and his team. Applaud you. And thanks again. Most people don't know this, but black people had a Wall Street. It was called Black Wall Street. But unfortunately, it was burned down by white supremacists. Since then, this man has been on a mission to revive Black Wall Street. But not in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but in the film and television industry. The following person is a veteran with more than 40 years experience in the film and television industry and which includes producing the film Anton de Kom. But despite all his work, he never received the recognition he deserved. But as they say in show business, it's not over until the fat lady sings. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the fat lady will sing. Give a special round of applause to the next recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award, Raymil Blinker. <laughs> Thank you so much, Septimius. Thank you so much, Jan Willem. Let me first thank my wife, Asfa Beiner. Thank you. <laughs> and let me thank my partners, Vincent Berkleif, Gregory Makusi. Thank you so much. For a long time, the voices and stories of storytellers like me have been under attack in the Dutch movie industry. I'm here to fulfill my responsibility as a producer, coach and mentor under these difficult circumstances, to preserve freedom, independence in the Dutch movie industry. I believe it's time that we have a movie industry that reflects the full talent and greatness of our nation with a nominee of extraordinary qualification and that we inspire all young people, including the ones in the Caribbean to believe that one day they will serve the Dutch movie industry at the highest level. To get something you never had, you had to do something you never did. So never give up. Thank you again. The following lady has been called the silent force behind the Dutch film industry. She has produced films starring Nicole Kidman, uh, Dakota Fanning, Carice Van Houten, Guy Pearce, and the handsome Game of Thrones star Kit Harington. From a young age, she had success, winning a Student Academy Award for her debut film. As time passed, she would hone her skills, perfecting her craft with patience and timing, and she would slowly rise to be a prominent force, not in the Netherlands, but also abroad. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to award the following lifetime achievement to Els van der Forst. Especially for you, Jan Willem, I put on this dress, but it's quite difficult on this uh, stairs. And um, uh, I had a note, and I thought I saw everyone doing it 
from the head. But then I saw Ray, so I thought, okay, let's give it a try. I want to thank, of course, the whole organization for giving me this award. I had hoped to be able to postpone this lifetime achievement as I'm not near being done. I, I become 60 on Friday, but what is, in the, huh? what is in an amount of 60? We all know filmmaking isn't easy, and I'm proud of every film I've made even though one succeeded better than the other. I've learned from every film I made, and I'm incredibly happy to have all the opportunities which was given to me. Most of all, I'm happy that I'm be able to work with so many people from various cultures, backgrounds, and walks of life. These opportunities have enriched my life. I love making films, but I love the inspiration. Working with people provides me even more. Part of receiving a lifetime achievement is reading a speech from a piece of paper with reading glasses. And of course, thanking the people who are most important in my life and my work. I want to thank Isabella Depeweg and Martin Kohlhofer, who are both here. And of course, I want to thank all the people I worked with in the last 30 years. Thank you, thank you very much for this prize. And then it's time for the last awards. On January 26, 1946, something very special happened. Just three months after World War II ended, someone very special was born that would change the film industry. Don't believe me? Uh, just ask uh, Emma Thompson or Julia Roberts, or stars like the legendary actor Leonardo DiCaprio, Glenn Close, Yuma Thurman, John Malkovich or Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, pick a star, Antonio Banderas, Keira Knightley or James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, I can go on, the gorgeous and talented Naomi Watts and Robin Wright, Keanu Reeves, Christian Bale, or the legendary actor Sir Anthony Hopkins. All the greats have worked with this one man. For half a century, this man has been writing and directing films. He even won two Oscars for The Father and Dangerous Liaisons. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to award the Lifetime Achievement Award to Sir Christopher Hampton. <laughs> Um, my first professional engagement in Amsterdam was about 50 years ago with a play of mine called The Philanthropist. Um, I'm afraid I don't speak Dutch, but the newspaper the next morning, the headline was De Philanthrop in Katastrof, <laughs> which I was able to understand. <laughs> so I feel I've made some progress. Uh, over the last 50 years. Um, I just want to, well, I want to thank all the people I've worked with and my family, my wife, Laura, and my daughters, Alice and Mary. And um, uh, I just wanted to say in conclusion that it's a real uh, pleasure and privilege and honor to be here this evening. I, I've, I've lived in Africa and I've lived in Asia. I've worked in Australia and I've worked in South America. And um, to be here with celebrating people from all over the world is a, re is a really special uh, event. So thank you, thank you so much, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we've almost reached the end of our ceremony. Aww. I know, thank you. <laughs>
I'm dying to get out of these heels, though, so it's okay. Um, but even though some have won and some have not, no one will go home empty-handed tonight. All the nominees will receive official nomination certificates, which will be handed out outside of the theater. For now, like most things, all good things must come to an end. But maybe, like me, you're just dying to get a drink. That's also fine. Uh, before we go off and have a drink, talk to the press and network with each other, let's have one more final round of applause for everybody's hard work and dedication. Thank you.